It's a hit like this that could cause a football player to suffer a concussion. With football being such a physical sport, concussions are sustained on the field all of the time. And a concussion doesn't always mean a direct hit to the head. It could be an indirect blow to the body as well. USC defensive end Devin Washington remembers the hit that caused his concussion. Headaches got worse and every, every movement I would make, I would get dizzy, nauseous and just you know, sensitive to life. The Center for Disease Control says that 78% of concussions occur in games, but Devin received his during practice. It was a light hit, it wasn't anything serious, um, just bumped head with the fullback. Devin did not play the entire season. Dr. Susan Yergin, professor of athletic training, says concussions can cause more than just a headache. Um, the person could feel more emotional or unstable or confused. He explains there is no definite recovery time for a sustained concussion. For Devin, it took five months. Most of the time, it really is a matter of giving the person time to rest cognitively um, until symptoms resolve. The CDC says that if someone has already received one concussion, they are one to two times more likely to receive a second. Devin says that once he was cleared, he was more than ready to hit the field. I really wasn't hesitant because in football, if you're hesitant, that's how you get hurt. Various factors contribute into letting a player back onto the field after sustaining a concussion, such as passing a balance test or sitting in a dark room for hours. And with new given research, managing a concussion requires specialized and state-of-the-art approaches. Some of those approaches include rest, counseling, meditation, medication, and neurotherapy. USC head football trainer Clint Hagert says educating the players has become very important. You know, guys thought that they needed to play through a concussion, you know, that uh, getting a headache was part of football. And through education of them, you know, they know that there's various things that they need to tell us about that we can't always see. As for Devin, he has learned that ignoring symptoms is never good. Probably, uh, I would say uh, more on my part was my fault for, you know, not taking the necessary precautions at first. And even though another concussion is possible, Devin just wants to continue playing the sport that he loves. Michelle Torres, Carolina News.